end this. Hello! Do you want to have a clear mind? Remember everything you have read and tell better stories? Then here is the video for you. Today we shall take a peek into my brain with Rome research and why you should take more notes and how to use Rome to maximize your creativity for story outputs and memorization. So it all begins in the brain. I'm dizzy, overwhelmed with those thoughts. I have something. And yeah, Rome research. It is a tool, but a tool is just extension of who and what I am. Well, so what heck is this Rome research? It is a non-linear note-taking app. Not like your Apple Notes, you will see bare, quite unconventional. But you will see magic happens when I further explain. So the app looks like this. When you first enter in the app, you will have a daily page on the side. As here, I do my morning pages, night pages, write the daily schedule, and random thoughts for me to keep track of because writing grateful things and thoughts in my journal really helps with my mental health because talking to a journal might be better than going to a therapist. Hmm, who knows? And then in this daily page, I also record the contents that I consume. I create a page by pressing the bracket button twice and titling it as the article or book that I'm consuming. And it is a linked page under the date. The, and then the magic of Rome happens here by directional linking. This linking means that two ideas are interconnected. The purpose of the link is to represent an association between two ideas when I think of A and it sparks a chain with B. With this function, you can view it as the knowledge graph. You can highlight and select bubbles and see how each thought associate and link to each other. The connecting thoughts and highlights really feel like neurons out of my brain. Where you have more studies and relations, the neurons and information will be more dense. Just like on the graph where I study more in that area, more things relate to each other so that the connection there will be more linked. So those connections is out of my brain and by seen by the daylight, not the dark of the cranium, we can connect them and tell stories. And creativity is emerged and fostered from here. <clears throat> and the limit do not exist. Contestants, find the limit of this equation. The limit does not exist. The limit does not exist! Is it working? Ah. Uh... 3, 2, 1. Rome is a digital garden. It is a place for you to keep your notes, foster connection, and continue to refine them. In this digital Rome garden, you can find different species of information and put it in your garden. I can nurture, grow, and blossom stories and ideas out of it. The stories can grow empathy, connect human, and help people to gain more knowledge. And remember, this tool is just a tool. And what matters the most is your hands-on skills of gardening and what type of flowers you grow inside and cross-pollinate them. I'm going to give you a few examples on how I do this in Rome research. There are many ways to record notes. There are no particular ways, really personalized. That's how I love it. So first, I create a page of the article and enter the metadata. It's used for a hashtagging system for the books. For example, when I click on self-improvement, see all the content consumed within this topic. Um, I start typing the key point summary. After I read a section of the blog or book, I really like to ask myself, what are the main points from this chapter? Because this helps me to train my comprehension and summarizing skills. Well, I will know what information is valuable and important that is worth my time recording it because you gotta finalize your diet of information on what you want to consume and this is the finery step of ingestion. My note-taking strategy is also upping a level in school. I try to find my intrinsic motivation because I am quite down by school too. I try to get the study of intrinsic motivation and owning my learning back from trying out Rome to take notes. And I enjoy the thoughts and the knowledge with me dating together because I'm flirting and dating those knowledges to all the knowledges and flirts that I have with them. That sounds so romantic, man. <laughs> So I tried it with my pharmacology course. Bits of notes from lectures kind of seems like atomic building blocks for the foundation that brings me up to the peak of the knowledge in that field. Try to let curiosity and intuition guide this whole process. I'll type questions into YouTube and Google and keywords into textbooks to find the answer. Hi there and welcome to the wide world of web. It's like messy, but I know I'm where I'm going through this very extremely complicated, convoluted route to find the answer. 
Essentially, I found it and I recorded it down. I know the answer because I go through this whole process of learning. So I found out that many drugs tend to have many side effects that are similar and big mechanism of action that acts on receptor sites and blocking them in similar actions. I can tag them with those links and blocks and reference blocks. So in this case, many drugs have anticholinergic effects. I can highlight this word and hit the double bracket button to create a new page. And in any page that have this keyword will fall under the link references. So when I organize them like this, I can recall them better and maybe form a story about it. And then with all those studying and talking and memorizing, you know, C gets degrees but A might to die from stress related complications. So next, why why do we take notes? Notes doesn't consuming and reading is enough time already. Why should we even keep track of what we consume and ingest? Oh, because the world is spinning round and round and round even faster, faster, faster. Guess what? The average person spends around 11 hours consuming media, which is around 34 gigabytes of data. We should find a way to manage those massive knowledge because we are smart knowledge workers, right? Isn't it? Brain is the biggest asset and I'm slowly turning into a massive nerd and that's my brand. And I've come to a lot of realizations that I have not started taking notes on books that I've read in the past and I have so much books to catch up, at least like five to 10. But luckily, thanks to the internet, some of them have detailed summaries online already. I don't even need to write them my copy, but plagiarizing not a good thing, so don't do it. Now I'll answer. First is the generation effect. It means that you remember things better once you have created hands-on notes and explained it to someone else. There's also the drawing effect. It means that if you draw it, you can recall it better. And next one is quantity over quality. Because when it comes to taking notes, the more you take, the more you will remember. And also in art, if you create more and more art pieces in that field, you're more guaranteed for a quality work because experiment says that. Well, this experiment is about two classes taking photos. One class tell is given the fact that they are graded based on the quality and the other class is based on how many photos they take. And then surprisingly at the end, the group that has the most satisfied photo from the creator itself is from the quantity group, not from the quality. So being paralyzed by how much notes you take is fine because it's good for your memory. So after the garden of thoughts have blossomed, I have found a way to learn with curiosity and linking all those things together. The flower and the garden have grown into a beautiful bouquet big picture. Finding through here, I can find ideas and paths that might work for storytelling. For example, I can reflect on my life story. And reflection is a very good way for learning because I rehearse what, on what has happened and the mistakes that I've made so I won't make them in the future. Another one, for example, is me understanding the drugs. I can relate each concept to each other and maybe create a fun story with mnemonics for remembering the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system drugs. There are so many of them and acts on like five different receptors. Actually, I learned this from osmosis. So thanks to osmosis and combined with Rome research, the linking is strengthening like neurons that fire together, wire together. That's the most famous phrase in neuroscience. So I can also share those stories that I learned from studying for pharmacology finals and spread them to other friends to let them memorize and foster connection. Isn't that so good? One stone, two words. First, memorization done. And second, we got closer because I shared the story to them and helped them. So that's just all the ways that I have incorporated Rome research with storytelling. But why do we tell stories and do all those things? Well, how does taking notes have to do with storytelling anyways? It has to go down to the root of the question. Why do we tell stories? It is human superpower. It makes survival easier because we spread around the essential survival knowledge. You know, it's in our brain and we have to talk it out to other people. And story also makes it better to memorize. Better spreading and better memorizing and better survival. The neurons that wire together, that fire together. The stories that are spread will be longly memorized. And before writing systems, stories is how human pass down what happened mouth by mouth. It's, it is a form of history and a form of knowledge that's been kept in our human DNA. So, so brain lights up like in New York City when we start sharing stories. Active learning and memorization also comes from here, huh? So do better content and entrepreneur because when we're happier, we can create better content. Telling stories also releases a neurochemical called oxytocin. Have you guys heard of it? It is the cuddling hormone we hug. That hormone also comes up. About 10 years ago, we only know that this hormone comes from when the mom is taking care of the baby, but no, it also comes out when we bond and tell stories because humans are wired for connecting. Through the findings of neuroscientists and sharing my whack pharmacology mnemonic story for my finals, this also triggers the release of oxytocin. And this is my long ass 
explanation of how I take notes in Rome research and how I use storytelling to remember those facts better and create content from it. So and say bye to the psychologist and dentist in progress. I have no idea what I want to study or do in my life in the future. I'm having a big existential crisis every single day. And I hope you guys are having a safe time. And my throat is literally dying. And see what time is it? It is 4. Still playing with my bang at 4 a.m. What a day. You might also be interested in using Notion or Bullet Journal to organize your life. So check out, so check out the videos here too. See you guys next time.